Okay, Mike, um, you've been telling me about this, this drink, this drink that you have, um, that you make every morning or almost. Every morning. What, what's in it? I start with um, herbs and spices, and I get them at, uh, the first half I get at Family Thrift Center. Yeah. Okay, because they, they have big containers for a buck, they have a dollar section. Okay. Best deal in town. Okay. That's your basil, your uh, oregano, okay. your parsley, your okay. ginger, okay. cinnamon. Okay. Um, and that's the bulk of what I get from there. Okay. okay. And that's a heaping teaspoon. A teaspoon of each of those. Of each of those. Okay. I, heard I, that. Put, I put six um, tea bags. I tear open the tea bags. All of this, none of this is strained. You drink down the leaf. Okay. Consume it like food. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, six tea bags of green green tea. Green tea. Go in there. Okay. Uh, two bags of black tea. Okay. okay. Then I go to Staple and Spice and get more of the esoteric herbs. Yeah. Um, and that would include rosemary. Okay. Um, turmeric. Turmeric. Turmeric is huge for brain. Okay. Fights uh, Alzheimer's. Okay. Um, there's also, uh, uh, geez, I'm drawing a blank now. How much rosemary? You know, those go from a buck and a half to about two and a half bucks. But, but how much do you put in there? Oh, same deal. Same a teaspoon? Deal. A teaspoon of everything. Okay. Um, oh yeah, nettle. Nettle. Um, which is kind of a natural testosterone booster. Oh, okay. And uh, fenugreek, fenugreek, also a testosterone booster. Oh, okay. Fenugreek. And uh, <coughs> I kind of bounce around a little bit. Rose hips. Rose hips. Um, yeah. Okay. And rhodiola. Rhodiola. I've heard of that you one. Heard that one? No. It's, that a, it's a circulation, really stimulates uh, circulation in the brain. And okay. the smaller capillaries. Okay. Um, that's about the bulk of it. Okay, right and then there. how much water? And that's pretty thick. That's that's in a, I'm going to say, a, a half-gallon jug. Okay. Okay, so it's quite a bit. Are you drinking that all day long then or what? No, three times a day. Morning, okay. noon, and night. Okay. Um, I'll usually drink it right before a meal. Okay. And remember, all these green leafies, all that's living and... Has, <laughs> having active enzymes in it. Okay. okay. Also, it's very probiotic. So you've okay, built up your enzyme bank pretty well. Yeah, yeah. You've yeah. been doing this for years. I remember you told me I've like 15 for, years for ago. For years now, yeah. It's, it's evolved <laughs> through the years. Is what you put in your drink different some days than others? Oh, yeah, depending on availability. Sometimes they're out of one, one spice or one herb, okay. you know. But... I'm going to say there's at least 10 different herbs and spices every day. Sometimes if I get if I just get stocked up, there might be 15. And how did you get turned on to this? Um, I read about it many years ago as Chinese remedies go. They, they have uh, combination teas uh -huh. with up to a dozen different herbs and spices. And... Uh, and I read about uh, a guy that cured himself of a throat cancer, so I kind of got into it. Um, and then but, but I get, I've got most of my individual information on the different herbs and spices from the Life Extension Foundation, which I subscribe to their magazine. And is there anything else you take every day or almost every day? Oh yeah, I take a lot of supplements, uh -huh. um, the creatine and. Uh, you know, vitamin D, extra calcium, those things, the you, glucosamine you, for the joints. And you said you take psyllium too, right? I take the psyllium husk every day about supper time, uh, actually after supper, and it pushes pushes the food of the day through while I'm sleeping, okay. get up in the morning, and I'm regular. Okay. Um, <laughs> So, and, I, and that has a real cleansing effect, and, the psyllium. And your, how's this helped your martial arts? Well, it keeps you feeling good, so you always want you want to be active. Yeah. If you're if you're having a bad day or you don't feel up, you don't want to do it. You don't. What want, about cayenne you don't pepper? Don't want to work out hard. Do you put you you ever take cayenne pepper? 
Yeah, yeah. But peppers, it, peppers every day in my diet. But is that is that separate from your drink? That's separate. Yeah. Okay. Because that that can get to your stomach. If you, just a little bit too much can ruin the How drink. How much cayenne pepper do you take? I I, I put it on my food. Oh, I use okay. all the different peppers. Oh, okay. Okay. I eat peppers. Um, and and here again, it's I got to mitigate it with food, or it would cause a stomach right distress. It's real easy to overdo it, but black pepper, you bet. Okay, I I, I got to get with you and watch you make that drink because I, I need to start drinking that. Yeah, yeah, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome to come over. Okay. We'll hook up. Okay, come so, over and you can see it firsthand. Firsthand. Okay. See how I'm laid out in my in my yeah. <laughs> cupboard there. That sounds you know? fun. Okay. We'll turn this off. Yeah. Better be. Okay. Hey,